cousin. It's a friend here, Bobby G, man. How you feeling today? Good? Something I really want to know. You know what I'm saying? It fills my heart with joy. So today I want to talk to you about the United Guitar Company, Elizabeth, New Jersey, man. You know what I'm saying? What's up, New Jersey? What's up, New Jersey? You feel me? Now, this company, they're all kinds of United Guitars. They all kind of look like this. You know what I mean? Kind of look like this. You know what I mean? See that one in the back? Look like that, too. You know what I mean? They're all over the place, but nobody really knows where they came from. They got brand names like Wabash, Howard, Telenio, Sylvia, Stadium, Guyano. You know what I mean? Black Spirit. There's all kinds of weird names they got, man. There was a jobber. United, United Guitar Company is found by four Italian guys, 1939. Right around 1955, they started putting truss rods in the guitar. I like to collect the ones, you know what I mean, pre-truss rod. And you can tell the difference because they started stenciling, you know what I mean, right on the headstock. You know what I mean, steel reinforced neck, right? So if it says that, it's got a truss rod, I like them before that. But problem is, a lot of these guitars, you know what I mean, they've got a huge, you know what I mean, they lean in, man. And the action goes real high. So I want to do a couple things. Maintain a guitar. I want to reproduce a headstock sticker for one of these guitars. For the Elitone, which was the house brand. I mean, for United. You know what I mean? I also want to uh, non-destructively and easily lower the action on two of these guitars. And, you know, I'm going to put a ball on the slab. i got three here that I want to talk to you about. i got a couple more upstairs. Maybe I'll pull them out later and give you a, like a full tour. But anyway, it was a big company. It kind of fizzled out, you know what I mean, mid-60s. You know what I'm saying? We can't live all, forever, you know what I mean? Some, so, you know, everything's got a you know, life cycle. So everything turn, turn, turn. So let's put these guys down. Let's talk about United Guitar and have a good time, man. Breathe easy. Breathe, breathe deep. I'll flip your hand. All right. So, I actually have a bunch of these guitars. But these are the you know guitars I'm going to talk about. It's weird to actually work on two of them, man. But I got another one out just to show you, man. So, this is the first one I ever got, man. And it's an early Telenio one, man. Uh, Telenio. One of the ones I talked about, of course, you know what I mean? This is the pre-steel reinforced neck, man. You know what I'm saying, man? It's old. Old scale. You know what I mean? It's made in the USA. You know what I mean, man? I did the Duncan Hines on this guy. You know what I mean? I dunked the neck in hot water and then I clamped it to a board for three months. You know what I mean? And I have it tuned to step down. You know what I mean? E flat. So anyway, man. You know what I mean? That's what I do with that one. It's got the original bridge intact. You know what I mean? It's got some battle scars. But I love this guitar, man. You know what I mean? After I, you know what I mean? Got this guitar. I acquired a couple more. These United guitars. This one's an unbranded one. Very similar, only the fretboard is more of like a brownish finish. This actually has like a brownish finished sort of um, bridge as well. This is like black finished. And it's got the same bridge. Same thing. It's very good condition. It's got the original strings other than the E string. You know what I mean? This one's in excellent, excellent condition. But most of these guitars, you know what I mean? The pre-truss rod ones, the action is terrible. You know what I mean? The next... You know, bold forward. I mean, the action is off the off the chart on, you know what I mean, these two guitars right here. And this one is a Sylvia guitar. It's a little guy. You know what I mean? Compared to the other two, you put it on top of it. You know what I mean? It's like a little tiny guy. You know what I mean? Smaller. Much smaller. See that? See how this has been cut down? You know what I mean? I don't know if, you know, that was done by the factory because it's the only screws on any of these guitars I've ever seen. Everything else is like a nail. You know what I mean? See? These guys, these guys got little nails. All the little tuners have like these little little nails. Waverly tuners, bell tuners. You know what I mean? Bottom of the, you know what I mean? Bottom of the barrel. You know what I mean? Definitely Waverly bells. Anyway, so what we're going to do now, there's you know what I mean? A bunch of ways to get this action down on both these two little guitars here. And I just want to talk real quick about the Sylvia guitar here. Because when I first got it, I was like, well, this might be like a rare guitar. You know what I mean? And I looked it up. You know what I mean? And I saw a couple of different examples. The first one I saw was on Jet Jedi Star. 
Let's see if I can pull this, pull this up here. Now, I looked at this page and I saw the example that they had for it, and I saw you know this one right here, and I looked at this. I was like, well, that's just just like mine, and I seen this. You know what I mean? A little paint mark. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I was like, I was like, wait a minute. And I looked inside my guitar, and I said, like, oh, same exact paint mark. You know what I'm saying? So I have actually the same exact guitar that's on this Jedi Star, man. You see that? See that little, see this is a little piece. You know what I mean? It's my guitar, man. This, but it had a case back then, man. It's like sourced off of eBay, I believe it says. You know what it says, man? Something like that. Anyway, man. So I own the Jedi Star guitar, man. You know what I mean? See that little piece of paint that goes over the, the brace? You know what I'm saying? That's it, man. Anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to have to get this bridge down a little bit. Now, I can either sand this down a little bit, you know what I mean, or I can reset the neck. I might actually want to reset the neck at one time, you know what I mean? Because these guitars are kind of clunky, medieval type of guitars. But at this point, I don't really want to do that. You know, it's a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? I don't really have the time. We have a lot of projects going on. So I went on the internet. I was looking for some bridges, and I saw a JP Giddy Crafter for two of these cigar box. It says K style, is what it says. You know what I mean? It was like eight bucks delivered. You know what I mean? Tax and everything. You know what I mean? And they're almost exact. You know what I mean? Size as these. You know what I'm saying? I got one made out. You can get it whatever. What I got nice strong pine ones. But you know what I mean? They're a little bit lower. If you take a look from this end. You know what I'm saying? They're a little bit lower. So that's going to lower the accent substantially. You know what I mean? It's going to lower the accent substantially. And we're not going to be able to tell that, you know what I mean? It's been replaced, right? So we're going to make two of these guys. We're going to cut the slots exact to the bridges that are on there. You know what I'm saying? My friendly people. And we'll just replace them. Slip them in, slip them out. You know what I'm saying? Nothing else. Replace no strings or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Easy episode, people. Easy episode. Peace be with you. Yeah. Alright, we're in the great outdoors. I'm going to paint these with some spray lacquer. You know what I mean? The original ones are like hand-painted black lacquer. Apparently, I got some old spray lacquer, man. Cause you know what I'm saying, man? This ain't the 1930s anymore, man. So I'm going to paint these guys real quick, and then we're going to bring them back downstairs and cut them in. So we'll see when they're all painted out. Nice. So they're done. They look good. You know what I'm saying? We just got to cut the string grooves in there. You know what I mean? Exactly as the old one. So we did that, man. That's the functional part. We talked earlier about, you know what I mean, trying to restore the logo for one of them, that being this one. United only distributed, you know, any one, you know what I mean, sort of trademark of this particular entry-level guitar, and that was called the Elitone, the United Elitone. It had like a little Saturn insignia. Looked like this, according to the internet. <laughs> a little bit of light baby blue in there. And we printed some out on that old sticker that we got, a wall sticker. We actually used it for this metallic to make some made, made in Japan stickers. For one of those Telstar episodes, I believe. We're going to make... A very light baby blue acrylic paint got a brand new needle brush carefully paint that in there that little tiny bit of baby blue and i'll see you on the flip of that switch hey very hard to get anything to stick to that paper it didn't come out as clean as i thought it would mix it up with some enamel hope it, you know what i mean congeals a little better see which one comes out not too too bad we'll go with this guy you know what i mean now we gotta cut like inside these little tiny hoops that one and that one. Real, real fine shit. Got a little tiny micro exacto rip off from the Dollar Tree. You know what I mean? Let me get in there. Make a mess before we cut it out, right? Uh, nice. Looks good. I'm trying to flash on it, so I mean, it's real like extreme right now. Put it on there. You know, stuck it on there. Mixed up some white and some black acrylic paint. Got like a, you know, thundercloud gray. Going, I just dabbed it on there a couple times, wiped it off real quick. With a t-shirt, you know what I mean, simulate, you know, 50, 60 years of gunk. Uh, not bad, not bad. From over here, it's like, okay, you know what I'm saying? 
Nobody's going to mess with a $100 you know, dollar guitar, right? So let's slacken these strings and get these bridges out and start, you know what I mean, taking a good examination of the actual guitar bodies themselves. You know what I mean? There's a couple of things I want to fix up on this guitar right here. You know what I mean? I want to try to get that out. And I saw something that was kind of loose over here. I want to like, you know what I mean? Take a look at it a little bit better. So let's get those little, you know what I mean, bridges out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the strings slackened. Pop that little bridge out. Now over here, we got the new bridge on top of a popsicle stick and like an old tag card. We got a little rat tail file. Let me take a look at that guy. He's real like you know what I mean? Right on the edge of the knife, man. So we're just going to run that across here. Score it out. And I'll show you when we're done. You ready? Set? Done folks all it needs is for the strings to be tightened again let's bring in that sylvia all right so we're about to cut the grooves onto the little bridge for the sylvia now on this guy here i want to get rid of this got a little magic erase marker here i'm just going to dip it off with some old water and just get this guy off you know what i mean get it begun i'll cut the grooves and i'll put the bridge on and i'll see you then so this bridge was actually about the same height as the you know the new one. The new one's actually a little tiny bit taller if you look at it from this way, man. You see how that new one sticks up a little bit? So we're gonna go with the original one. You know what I'm saying? We'll just stick on the original guy, put this guy away. Keep the other one labeled, you know what I mean? Keep them all labeled up. Let's shine this guy up. We got the little mark off, put a wax on it. And we'll show you the glam shots. You know what I'm saying? Peace be with you, my peoples. Thank you. So we'll do the Sylvia first. What a nice little guitar. You know what I mean? We shaved a little bit off the bottom of the bridge. You know what I mean? Bring the action down just a tiny bit. It's a little bit high, but you know what I mean? Not terribly terrible. You know what I'm saying? You have to cut that... Uh, Tail piece down to get any intonation going on this guy. You know what I'm saying? Little tiny fella. Sylvia, this is the rare brand, man. I, I haven't really seen too many of these around, folks. Those little nails. Waverly's in good condition. Uh, a couple of little dings and dangs. Original, though, folks. I mean, it's nice. Now, United didn't just make these cheesy, you know what I mean, entry-level guitars. They also made, you know what I mean, some electric guitars. I've seen a lot of them in the Telenio brand. You know what I mean? They weren't, like, super wonderful. They also had, like, an upper brand called Orpheum, which made some nice, you know what I mean, real nice guitars. You know what I'm saying? Let's take a look at that, uh, the Elitone, folks. Elitone? Hello, Tone, how are you? I'm alright. This is the more common one. You know what I'm saying? Intonates right there by the tailpiece. Hello? Hello, Town. Looks good, that sticker, right? Not bad at all. These Waverly's in pretty good condition, also. Hey, hello. Why well, you get out of focus on me now? Good condition. I mean, this is a very good condition example. Early 50s. Possibly late 40s. See? No truss rod. No truss rod at all. Now, they say that United supplied some bodies for D and Helico, man. Can you believe that? The great man himself. You know what I'm saying? That must have been top of the line stuff. I've never seen some pictures of it or any proof, but that's what they say, man. That's what they say. So before we say peace be with you and tell people to wash their hands, let's hear it. Right? Let's hear it. Seems they're always like some kind of like paint stains right here. Weird, right? Weird stuff, man. Let's hear it. Let's hear it, hello. 
Hello town. Hello town. Hello town. Hello town. Let's say you town. Town. There it is, my friends. United Ella Town. About 1949-1950. Round about conservatively. You know what I'm saying? I like to be conservative. I don't want to say that this is from the Titanic. It's not bad. This is for you, America. The wash is out, it's hanging up, and all I have is nothing. Nothing to do, nothing to say. God bless you, man. Wash your hands, brother. Love you. There it is, man. The United Elatone, United Guitar. Talk about Delano. I'm talking about Sylvia. I'm talking about representing Howard. I'm representing everybody, man. New Jersey, man. New Jersey and you.